Okay, this is our little mini houseboat. It's uh, Adventure Craft 2001. We purchased it in 2004, and it was brand new. So we're the original owners. Um, it came with a 2004 Honda 130 four-stroke. Really great motor. Never an issue. We are, every time I show up, you turn the key and you and it turns right on. There's the top of the boat. Now I'm gonna. This is more of an interior view, so I'm gonna come around here, step onto the boat, and go into the interior and show you what the interior consists of. So coming in the front of the boat, here's the captain's area with the captain's seat and steering. You can steer up top also. I have the bed made in the back, made out so you can see what it looks like. It's like a queen size bed in the back. So over here is another seating area. Storage underneath and behind every seat. And here again is the same thing. Now this captain's seat, along with the passenger seat, which is already folded up, I'm going to fold this up. So usually I drive from up top. That just folds right up there, out of the way. So that's a seating area. There's a place for a table there. Here's the other seating area. A little table there also to help with the galley kitchen area. Storage up top. Storage down below with a refrigerator over there. We have curtains that separate the unit. Now, right from here to here, that would separate the front sleeping unit. So these units would make out with the tables, just like it is in the back. Coming over here, we have our head. There's uh, the toilet, which is basically brand new. We have a little sink, and that is also a shower that lifts up, and I've never even used it, but it comes up, you can shower and stuff. And of course the drain in the shower area. Window out. And then here's the back coming through. Oh, we also have a, I'll show you if I can show you. I just kind of closed the curtain to the head. So that kind of matches. Coming back here. Of course we have all our curtains. Here's the bed made out. And there's, you can see those snap, those come out. And there's storage in behind there, like I said, and under the seat. And here's looking out the back of the boat. So here's the bed anyway. And you come up and we have our little flat screen TV in here so we can watch TV at night when we stay on board. And of course here's our kitchen area with the sink also. And here's the looking towards the front. So we're staying in Lake Havasu City so very rarely most of the time what I've been doing the last couple of years is we hardly even take it out. I probably go through a tank of gas a season because, to be honest, I can sit right here on my boat and this is like my little condo and uh, I'm totally at home just sitting right here. We know the lake like the back of our hands so going out isn't a big experience anymore. We've lived here so long that we're basically done with boating. But this is our view from in here. The beauty of these adventure crafts is you got windows all the way around you, so you always have a beautiful view. You're not sitting down in a cubby somewhere. You're always right at water level. Yet it only sits ten and a half inches in the water. And that Honda 130 will push it at about I I never really go that fast, but yeah, probably eighteen to twenty would be tops. We have our little fishing deals mounted on the back too, so you can troll and put a pole out there, plus I have my top also. Anyway, this is mainly to show you the interior of the, the boat. And the curtains, it has curtains all the way around. Of course, they're a little faded. It's been, uh, it's awful hot here in Lake Havasu. And we just fold the curtains up like that. Um, and they're real simple curtains, so you can always get new ones really simply anyway. But they're in good shape. I mean, I'm not going to change them. They seem fine for me. Anyway, here's out the front of the boat again. Thanks. Uh, I hope hope this showed the boat off good enough for you. If you have any other questions, just give me a call.